In this problem, we're going to integrate x squared times cosine x. We can do this two ways. We can use integration by parts, or we can use tabular integration. Let's go ahead and use tabular because it's a bit easier. So when you're using tabular, one of the factors in your integrand has to eventually be zero after repeated differentiation. So in this case, if you keep differentiating this, eventually it's zero. So basically we write that down, and then we just take the derivative. So x squared, its derivative is 2x, its derivative is 2, its derivative is 0. Then you take the other piece and you integrate it. So cosine x. When you integrate cosine, you can think backwards. You can ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? So sine. And then again, we're integrating sine. So what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, negative cosine, right? Because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And in this case here, it should just be negative sine because the derivative of sine is cosine, so the negative hangs out. So again, when you're using tabular, you just write down the piece that you're going to differentiate, and you just take derivatives. And then you write down the piece that you're going to integrate, and you just integrate. Then you always start with plus. So plus, minus, plus, minus. And then you just draw arrows. So draw arrows. Then just follow the arrows, and you're done. So following the first arrow, we have x squared sine x. Following the second arrow, negative and negative is positive, so plus 2x cosine x. Kind of a cool color. <laughs> and following the last arrow, it's minus 2 sine x. And don't forget to put the plus c. I hope this video uh, has helped. That's it.